Today I'm going to show you five creative transitions in Premiere Pro with no plugins. Click the subscribe button and enable the notification with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Number one, blur transition. First thing, I'm going to create an adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna drag the adjustment layer on the timeline and I'm gonna change its duration to 12 frames. Then I position myself between two clips and I'm going to type minus six. This will take me back six frames. That's where I'm going to position the adjustment layer. Effects, video effects, blur and directional blur. I'm going to set two keyframes at the beginning of the adjustment layer. One for the direction and one for the blur length. I'm not going to change any values. Then between the two clips, I'm going to change the blur length to 100. And two more keyframes at the end of the adjustment layer, 180 degrees for the direction and the blur length to zero. Number two, Venetian blinds transition. Move the first clip on the track above, then go to the end of the first clip, type minus 12. That's where the second clip is going to start. Then switch to the effect panel, type for Venetian blinds, drag the effect onto the first clip. At the beginning of the second clip, set three keyframes. Set the width to 1000, leave alone the others. Go to the end of the first clip and then change the value for transition completion to 100, direction to 180 and width to 10. Number three is push transition. Switch to the effect panel, video transitions, slide and drag the push transition between two clips. Then click on the push transition and open the effect control. Now you can have a preview of the transition. I want to set the transition length to six frames. So that's what the transition looks like. Now I want the transition to move to the opposite direction. So I'm going back to the effect controls panel and I'm going to click on east to west. That's giving me the direction I want. Now to improve it, we need to do a little bit more. We drag an adjustment layer on the timeline. We change its duration to six frames. That's the same duration as the push transition and we move the adjustment layer on top of the push transition. Then effects, video effects, blur and sharpen, directional blur. I'm going to set the direction to 90 and the blur length to 50. Number four, luma fade transition. I am after one second transition, so I'm going to overlap the second clip on the first one for 24 frames. That's because my sequence is 24 frames per second. Then effects, luma key and I drag the effect onto the second clip and now I set keyframes at the beginning of the second clip. Threshold 100, cut off 100 and at the end of the first clip threshold 0, cut off 0. Number 5, starter blackout transition. I position myself at the end of the first clip and then I type minus 7. This will bring me back seven frames. That is where the second clip will begin. I'm going to switch to the razor tool and then zooming in, I'm gonna cut frame by frame both clips. The idea here is to have two blackout frames at the end of the first clip and then alternate between first clip and second clip for two frames. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.